Hello fellow crafters. I'm going to share with you a um, design team project that I made and try to put something down so you don't see my dirty mat. <laughs> I'm excited to share this with you. It's a gift for Mother's Day for um, my niece. She had a little boy a couple months ago and Mother's Day is coming up so I thought I'd make her something special. And I did use the Pro 31 Designs products, so I'm going to share that with you. Please go check out our new store. It's at www.pro31designs.com. And there's so much more um, that she's carrying now, so please go check it out. You, you won't be disappointed. So let me share with you um, first the card. I did a... Um, easel card I guess I went online and found a couple different ways to make cards because I was tired of the easel card this is a step card I think it's called and what I did was is I just used some cardstock that I had and Pro 31 is care also carrying the graphic 45 little darlings so I used one of the images here on the paper and fussy cut it out put it in here um, some of my trim I had in my stash and these little felt button uh, flowers that I had and then these are from Pro 31 Designs 2 um, this is part of the flower trim this is the medium size and I colored this with my alcohol inks and then the Happy Mother's Day here this is from a spell binder and a stamp that I had and then I put some stickles on there and then this is just a um, recollection flower I layered up and a little flower that I had in my stash. And then this is a Martha Stewart, um, no not Martha Stewart, this is the new punch that I got from my friend Elise. Hi Elise, thank you. So I just think that's adorable, it's a little card for her, it says Happy Mother's Day. And then I made um, her a little bag to carry her mini in. And these bags you will find at Pro 31 Designs as well. I will put all your information down below for you. And then this is some trim that I got um, from a friend. This is one of the buttons that she, uh, sorry, flowers that she carries in her store. And she carries them in a variety of colors. They have pink, pink and blue, and I think she has white as well. And then instead of the um, the regular string it came with, I took some of the blue satin ribbon and ran that through through it and tied a bow. And then you pull out the mini. Isn't that just adorable? Isn't that cute? Oh, and I also wanted to share with you that this uh, 450 quick dry adhesive is perfect for gluing lace down onto material so that you don't have to use um, hot glue because hot glue usually will um, you know give you the big bumps if you if you don't if it like glops on there and the, and the two it spreads out sometimes I don't know I just really like this I use this a lot on this mini I used it to glue this bow down and the flower down so Pro 31 Designs is also selling this uh, 450 quick dry adhesive and it is very strong and it's great for everything and then these are the couple chipboard pieces that were um, in one of the chipboard packs that you can get and it says for baby and I just added some paper on the back of it and then here is one of Pro 31 Designs um, charms that she has in her store and this is the medium size it's a little crystal crystal teardrop isn't that cute I just have that hanging off here and then here is another um, here's a little blue bobble and those come in a variety of colors as well and this is the um, smaller one of course and this is a, a fairly small mini it's only I would say it's a five five by three size and I got this from uh, my friend Stacy she is five blessings here on YouTube and she has a die cut for this and she had sent this to me so thank you Stacy so I covered it with the Little Darlings paper here and then the, cut out one of the images and then I used the Pro 31 um, burlap trim and put it in the background so that it would come, come out of the around the edges and then here's some of the Pro 31 designs uh, beautiful white 
organza and satin trim it's satin down the center and what's neat about this is you can put like your flat back pearls or or a word like this that says a door and then here's another one of the flowers that I showed you that were on the bag and then this is just some blue seam binding that I had and then here's some more of the graphic 45 um, little darlings paper and then there's the trim that you see on the front but I covered it down the center with the word a door and then the, here's another one of the little um, this is actually a sticker that came in the kit not in the kit, I'm sorry, it came with um, the Graphic 45 Little Darlings paper. Um, there's a sheet that you can get that has the stickers on it. And then I just put it on chipboard and cut it out myself. I put a, um, a bow with um, Baker's twine. And then there's a little crochet flower that I had in my stash. And then on this side, this beautiful white trend that um, Pro 31 Designs has in their store. Isn't that beautiful? And I didn't glue it all the way down so that when she puts her photo on here, if she needs to, she can tuck it right behind it. So I think that'll soften it up and look really pretty. And these are just little felt flowers that I had. And these are a the couple of the stickers. And I um, put them on chipboard and popped them up and put it on there. Now on this page here, I wanted to add something so that she can have somewhere to put more photos. And this is one of the um, pieces out of the uh, 12 by 12 sheet that has uh, different images on it. And then here's a little sticker, and I put it on cardstock and, and stuck it on there. And that she's got a place, to, you know, lots of real estate here to put photos there and there. And then over here, I wanted to do a little something different. Instead of putting something down at the bottom, I put something on top. I used my Martha Stewart punch and punched out this little piece of white cardstock that I had, added some of these little blue felt flowers and some butterflies. And then this is Stickles. I kind of cornered each corner so that she knows she could put a photo in there. And then here's some of that really nice um, burlap in the blue and it says it's a boy. And then I used the white um, flower trim I put on top. And then over here this is another one of the stickers and this one as well. And then up here you see the um, really pretty trim. It's a cream color that has that arrow back on it. It's so pretty. It's perfect for um, small little projects like this. I also like to use this um, to go around the edge of minis. It looks really nice too. But this is so she can journal on that. And then this page here, this is the Graphic 45 Paper too. It's got the little letters B for boy and I added the little blue um, the white trim here and then this is some trim that I had in my stash it was a blue color already and then this last page here is I used a couple of the photo corners that came in the stickers uh, some more of my felt flowers and there's a little bit of the little scrap piece of the burlap underneath there and this says a door and then there's another one of those really pretty blue flowers that she carries in her store and then just on the back, you know, I put a sticker saying, you know, inspired by life, created by hand, one of a kind art created by Aunt Kim, and I put the year 2012. So that's my share, uh, my design team project for today. I wanted to share this with you. Isn't this just adorable? If you'd like to see close-up photos, please go to my blog. It's burleykim37.blogspot.com, and go check out Pro 31 Designs at www dot pro thirty one designs dot com. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.